what I know is that most of the wealthy designers, when they design something, they want to show something. So I'm very careful. I'm very careful. And to buy uko yi atadia na wa check atadia. Ah, one day we went to a shop, my wife and I. Jesus. <laughs> the back of the dress was long to the ground. The front of it. Bulldozer had created a hole from the bottom to about here. So I then asked my wife, how is somebody going to wear this dress? When you see her, will you be looking at her chest or the hole? A tokropa yasha de You would think they are going to mine for gold. I called the designer, he's my friend. I told him, I said, this dress bad here. Please. Don't be doing this for people's children. Some of you will go and bring it and show it to your wife. Hey, Kwame, how do you like this dress? It looks funny like you. <laughs> no, snakes, snakes are all over the place. Snakes. May the Lord deliver us Amen. from serpentine spirits. Things that claim to hold your life, claim to make you beautiful, claim to make you gorgeous. Lift up your hand and pray. Close your eyes. Now listen, listen. One of the things is, if you are shy, if you are shy, do you know that sometimes, eh? now, there are other things too, if somebody gives to me as a gift, until I know the person, I don't use it. Like a necklace, a chain, a ring. I don't use necklaces. I don't also wear bracelets. It's my personal principle. But even a watch, if you give it to me and I don't know you, I will not use it. Something I will constantly put on my body. If I don't know you, I don't wear it. Listen, it's dangerous. One day I was preaching in Togo. While I was preaching, a woman came from the congregation and held my leg. And I thought she was tapping anointing. I didn't know she was depositing missile. She touched my leg and went and sat down. I got back to the hotel. My foot started burning like fire. I went, Mark Abalando, Sike Brende, Lelebo, Sianda, Lalabata. I began to investigate it spiritually immediately. What is this? The Lord said, the woman who touched your foot, she left something in your foot. I went back home. My leg was burning. Ha! One day my wife got up. She went to school. I took an, a bowl, put oil in it, dipped my foot in it, removed it, wiped the foot. When I finished and stopped on the ground, all the burning and the pain had left. You see, you, you, you want to be very, very careful. Food you eat, some of you, every festival you are eating. Especially when the food is free. Listen, I don't eat festival food. Like if they say, oh, this is a period. Some idol worshippers and some people, they are doing funeral and they are sharing food to everybody. I don't eat. Even Christmas Day, when they are distributing food everywhere, it's not everyone you should eat. I like the way somebody says, Any akwe we queen. May and shewe, may and diwe, and the afi day, may and wari we, and the afi and your name. I'm teaching you how to preserve yourself. Now listen, listen. As I was speaking, Maybe there is something you are wearing right now. But please, if it's your shirt or dress, don't remove it. <laughs> Go home and remove it. But if there is something else, do you know there is a ring you are wearing you never used to dream basabasa 
until they gave you that ring. You never had headaches until that earring came on you. As I'm speaking, some of you are holding something you know you shouldn't keep. Some of the thing is in the house. When you go home, throw it away. Burn it and destroy it. But in case you are holding something here now in this building and you know you shouldn't be holding it, when we start praying, take it and come and put it on the altar. Somebody move the pulpit for me. Take it and put it on the altar. Makoto Siata. Because some of the things you carry on you, they seal a blood covenant and a covenant between you and some serpent or some spirit. Stand to your feet, lift up your hands to Jesus. Begin to pray. Break every alliance with serpents. And wherever you are standing right now, if you are holding something, wearing something, you know you shouldn't be holding this thing. Come and put it on the platform, the altar. Somebody pray. I have two minutes for you to pray this God bless you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this message. For further inquiries, contact World Prayer Center, PO Box GP21421, Accra, or telephone plus 233-303-413-703, or plus 233-303-413-705. Email us on info at wpcministries.org, or visit our website at www.wpcministries.org.